Hi, my name is Eve the Weave. Like, share, and subscribe. Today I was reading a comment that somebody left on their YouTube page about the episode of Power and how they was talking about Lala's acting. Why is it that we are the only community that judge one another and bring down one another and then try to flip it and then say, oh, it's a heart to heart. You left a whole comment on your community page that went out to the whole world about Lala's acting and how you hope it get better and how it was a heart to heart. Now, I love you. I'm not going to say your name. I love you. I love the work that you do. But how is it that you're going to sit up there, down her, and then try to lift her up at the same time? You either going to do one or the other. Pick a side, pick a lane, and stay the fuck in that shit. I am so tired of black people always putting down their people. That's like saying, I'm sorry, but... If there's a butt there, you ain't sorry. I love you, but then you don't fucking love me. Oh, the episode of Power was this way, but like come the fuck on. Like pick a lane and stay in that bitch. Because now that you put that out there into the world because you have a platform and it's your opinion, sometimes everybody don't need to hear your opinion. Sometimes you just need to leave it up here like... Say it to yourself, oh, that shit was crazy. It don't need to be typed out. It don't need to be talked about on social media. Because what you did was open up the floodgates for, like, the people in your comments to say, oh, I thought I was the only one that was bugging. Her acting is horrible. Now, if you're going to support the show, support it by watching it. But if you're not going to support fully, and what I mean by saying fully is, don't support it halfway. Don't support it and say, oh, I love the show, but we're not supporting it then. If you lifting it and putting it down at the same time, that's not supporting it. Everything don't need to go out into the universe. You can leave it in your brain. Hold it in your mouth as a pure thought in your brain. You don't have to spear it out into the universe. And now everybody underneath your comments is going off on Lala's acting. It makes no sense. Why is it that we're the only group of people that uplift our people and put them down all in the same token? If you don't support it, don't support it. If you don't like it, don't like it. If you're not going to look at it, don't look at it. But don't look at it and be mad at what you're looking at all in the same token. Because this has been going on for six years, sweetie. It's the end now. You just now coming to that resolution that, you know, this is what you just now coming to. You've been on it for six years. Now, basically, you open up to the universe to let everybody on YouTube to read your comments. And go back and forth and talk about her acting. This is a black man show. Everybody always want to sit up there and say, oh, our people, they don't let our people in. And when they do, X, Y, and Z. Either you in or you out. Either you support or you don't. Either you like it or you don't. Pick a lane. Stay in it. But let me tell you this. If I don't like someone's acting on a show, I'm not going to be like, and if it's a black show, I'm not going to definitely be like, oh, I like the show, but no, I'm just not going to say nothing. Like, come on. People going in the comments underneath your comment going ham fucking burger. And for what? Because you let those gates open. If you didn't put out the comment, they would have kept their comments to themselves. But because you was free with yours, now they feel like they free with theirs. And why? Why we just can't support each other? But y'all ran and got that chicken sandwich.
Y'all ran and got that shit. But as soon as that chicken sandwich make you sick, then is you gonna put out there that the white man's chicken sandwich made you sick, sis? Come on, man. Y'all gotta do better. Y'all got to do fucking better as a group of black people. We have to do better when it comes to our own. You do not see other backgrounds going in on each other like that. Oh, well, Tommy, you know, lost all that money. Let me put that out there on social media. You don't see them doing all of that. You don't see it. You don't see them going back and forth talking about each other's acting. Well, let me tell you what happened in the Game of Thrones. I didn't like the way that... You don't see none of that. But in yet in our community, we always complain about each other and then fake like we're going to uplift you at the fucking end when we just tore you to hold the fuck down. Come on. How you going to tear somebody down and then say this is a heart to heart? If it was a real heart to heart, you would have hit her in her inbox. She stay on the gram. Why you ain't hit her in her inbox? Why you had to put that on YouTube like that? Come on. We got to do better. And as a black woman to another black woman, you should want to see her up there. It's okay if she don't win every award in the world for her acting. It's all right, but she's up there, booked and busy. Doing what she wants to do. Her dream job. And who are we as the people to crush her world and say, oh, well, your acting is horrible. Oh, you didn't do good in that scene. And then you got people in the comments going on the little boy scene her, that's her supposed to be son. Oh, the little boy scene was horrible too. Like, he was only in it for five point two minutes. Two. How you going to judge something off for two minutes? Sometimes you got to put yourselves in, in, in their shoes. That's what you got to do. Imagine if that was you and people tearing you down. I don't think you would like it. I know I wouldn't. I'm just saying. Sometimes it's just best to keep your comment in your brain. If you store it up here. We the people won't have to be sitting up here talking about it. You got over 600 comments. And all of them is not in your favor though. And then you're going to try to justify some of them when they not in your favor. Oh, well I said this because. No, sis. No. You said like you said what you said. Now it was out there. Take that heat. Take that heat. Take it. You put it out there. It was okay for you to put it out there. But now when people are going a little bit against you, you want to, oh, because I said this because. Don't try to explain it now because if you wouldn't have put it out to the world, we wouldn't be trying to explain it. We wouldn't be talking about it. It wouldn't be content. I'm going to just need our black people to stop the shit. Stop the shit. Sometimes, some of y'all need to act like social media is not even in your phone. Some of y'all just need to delete that shit. How about going one day, hashtag that challenge. Go a day without social media. And I'm talking about all social media. Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, YouTube. Go a day without social media and see how your life is. See how easy your life is. God damn. Do we have to have an opinion about every fucking thing? Everything? Everything. No, we don't. I'm just saying. To me, it wasn't a good look for you to put that out there. Because if it was you, you wouldn't want her to put it out there. And if it was a heart to heart, Real heart to hearts happen over the phone. Real heart to hearts happen face to face. But if you don't know the person and the person got social media, being that everybody's in the social media world, heart to heart should have happened in the DM and nobody would have had to even know that you even put that out there like that. I'm just saying. It is what it is. 
My name is Eve DeWeave. I just felt like I had to say something. Because reading the comments, it was getting fucking ugly. And if you know who I'm talking about, you know to go underneath their comments. And you don't even have to read what she wrote. Just go underneath the fucking comments. Just, just, just go in the comment section. It's ridiculous. It does not have to happen like that. All the time. Just because you, let me get a thought. Oh, let me put it in the world. Like, no. You ain't been putting it in the world. If it wasn't no social media, you wouldn't be putting it in the world. Sometimes you just need to act like it's not there. That's all I'm saying. Stop tearing each other down. Let's try building each other up. And y'all may say, oh, well, she don't know us to build. We don't know her, and she wouldn't build us up. No, we don't know her, but we, we going to tear her down now? Come on. The shoe can go both ways. Don't ever get it twisted. My name is Eve the Weave. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit me in the comments. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But when I know I'm right, I know I'm right. See you later, YouTube. Bye.